Hello everybody, welcome back to Microbe Peeps. Today we're going to be peeping at several species that belong to a group of microorganisms called euglenoids. Although euglenoids are single-celled organisms, they come in many shapes and sizes. In fact, everything that you see featured in this video is some species of euglenoid. And aren't they beautiful? I just love the bright green color. But these guys are having a real identity crisis. You see, they used to be classified as algae because they have a lot of similarities with plants. But are they plants? Or are they more like animals? Are they some sort of weird mix? Do they even care what we think they are? So let's start by discussing how euglenoids are like plants. Well, I mean, look at them. They're green. They're bright green, which means that they contain chloroplast, which contain chlorophyll. And they do photosynthesis, like plants, to produce food and oxygen. Most euglenoids seek light, just like plants will. But euglenoids do so in a really interesting manner. You might notice on the front of some of these euglenoids, like this one pictured here, is a reddish-brown spot. That reddish-brown eye spot is called a stigma. The stigma helps the organism to find the brightest lit areas to maximize the amount of sunlight that it can receive. Now let's talk about how euglenoids are not like plants or algae cells. Euglenoids have a pocket in the front of the cell called a gullet, and from that gullet extends one or more flagella. The flagella are used for locomotion, and they're also used for gathering food at times when sunlight is short and photosynthesis can't happen. If you look really closely, you can see the flagellum whipping back and forth at the front of the organism in this video here. Another way that euglenoids are not like plant cells is that they have no cell wall like a plant cell. Instead, they have spiral strips of protein which creates a skin-like structure called a pellicle. In some euglenoids, like this facus species here, the pellicle is rigid, but in others, the pellicle can actually be flexible and allow them an almost amoeboid-like movement. Another big difference between euglenoids and plant or algae cells is that the chloroplasts of euglenoids do not produce starch. Instead, they produce a carbohydrate called paramylon. In fact, something really cool that you'll notice in this video here is a couple of oval shapes inside the organism. These are the organelles where paramylon is stored until it's needed to be used as food. So in answer to the question, are euglenoids plants, animals, or something else, my conclusion is euglenoids are unique. They're neither entirely plant nor are they exactly animals, but they are 100% awesome. If you've enjoyed watching this video today, please give it a like, and why not subscribe to my channel for more future content. See you next time on Microbe Peeps.